Oh, that's a good that's a good time. Yeah. It's always a good time. So, tell me a little about sociopathia. Sure. So, so sociopathia. We um, shot it in Baltimore about two years ago. Uh, came out last February. It is about a girl, Mara, who is so just. Um, uh, awkward and uncomfortable that she fears being alone and kills her lovers and keeps them around as dolls. Um, she falls in love with the producer and her world starts to crumble around her and she starts seeing things that might not be there and goes even more mad than she already was. I would like to add uh, something. It's kind of a spoiler, but there is no reason for her madness, okay? So, any uh, one watching the uh, movie, she was not raped or abused as a child. Uh, all the uh, things I've uh, read didn't uh, happen uh, to her. She is just crazy. Where did the idea come from? So, good question. <laughs> um, so, I mean, we were influenced by a lot of movies. Uh, Maniac was one that you'll see um, clearly in the movie. Um, Dress to Kill was another. Cronenberg's Rabbit was another. We both had this idea where we wanted to do something about a female serial killer, and we had different ways of going about it. Um, so we kind of had this idea of, you know, should she, like, be crazy and play with dolls? And then we thought, well, what if the dolls were, were real? So we thought of her having her living Barbies, basically, and that being her victims, and that's kind of how we kind of pieced it together, and then it kind of just wrote itself, basically. Yes, and also she's not a lesbian. Um, she's not straight either. It is not defined. Uh, obviously, uh, she is small, and uh, females are easier to kill, and she uh, falls in love uh, with another uh, female, but we never wanted to, like, say she's this or that, like, um, as far as sexuality uh, goes. Um, so, uh, to clear that uh, part up, she is not a lesbian. She just is a person who is crazy. Yes. Who she could find as a victim, and sometimes it's a... Uh, you know, a guy that tries to pick her up, and um, but a lot of times it's also a really beautiful woman. Exactly. So, so um, how long did it take to shoot the film? So we shot the film in 10 days straight, which was a crazy experience. Uh, we didn't want to give anybody a day off because we were scared if we did, they would never come back. <laughs> um, and we didn't have a lot of money. Uh, we self-funded this movie, so we were pretty broke. So, um, yeah, 10 days was all we had to, to could afford, and we couldn't put people up. We shot in Baltimore, which is nowhere near where either one of us lives, so um, we had to put people up in hotels, and we didn't want people to stay an extra day and have to pay them, so <laughs> 10 days straight, which I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> I, I think it's important for people to know that we self-funded. Uh, uh, no Kickstarter, Indiegogo, uh, or uh, producers uh, backing us. So, no money but our own which is still possible like you can make a mo uh, sorry you can make a movie with your own money it's about the story it's about the cast you know it's about like a quality in movie not the money so we self-funded, and we're in debt. <laughs> well, I highly recommend it. I love the film. And how was it working with the cast? Uh, the cast was great. I mean, every, it was a lot of people I didn't know. It was a lot of people Ruby did know. Um, Tammy we had never worked with before. She's the lead. Um, we had just seen her in another movie and just really loved her in it. Uh, Asta, 
was amazing to work with, super professional. Another one, we just I watched Newcomb, I was like, we should totally get her, and we reached out, and she loved the script. Um, but everybody came in knowing their lines and was ready to go, and uh, it was kind of like it was a big family, um, with, the, with the cast especially, where people shared rooms, and just everybody got along really well, I think. So um, it was great to see people being really professional and working for, for so little and just being excited. And how did it work between you two making the film? So we, um, since we had a, we had a, it was very bare bones, our, our crew and our budget, so we were splitting a lot of duties, so um, sometimes Ruby would be working with the actors and I'd be working on putting the shot together, sometimes I'd be ordering lunch and she'd be running the show. Um, we really just kind of, it was based on what was happening that day or that minute and who could kind of like jump in and kind of do it. So we split between who was on monitor and who was there and who was, you know, building something and um, it's a lot of running around for both of us, so it was great to have two people uh, doing everything. It wouldn't have gotten done in uh, 10 days without uh, two directors, so. Yeah, we also didn't have an AD for most of the shoot because our AD got arrested the day before we were supposed to start, so that was also helpful to have a second director. <laughs> Alright, so what are you guys up to currently? So I'm um, about to start production on a movie called Holy Terror, which is uh, going to be a cross between The Changeling and The Exorcist. We're shooting that in L.A. Um, in about, um, I guess, a month or so, and that'll probably be out. Um, we're trying to put it out March 31st, so uh, Holy Terror, looking for that soon. What about you, Ruby? Uh, I'm uh, working on a mixtape of shorts uh, by all uh, different uh, directors. And um, uh, it will also uh, be, well, hopefully, uh, finished uh, early, like January, February. So out for uh, distro around the uh, same uh, time. Uh, but uh, Rich and I have a company. Napalm Love Productions. Um, we currently have an ad in a comic uh, book. Um, uh, Burial Plus uh, by Chris LaMartina and Jimmy George. And they are... Uh, uh, also, uh, directors and, you know, they do everything, but, um, uh, Napalm Love has an ad out, uh, in their comic, uh, book. Yeah, and we're looking to probably shoot something, um, probably middle of next year, uh, kind of wrap up these projects. Yeah. Trying to figure out what that's going to be. We're always, like, we're, like, he's my best friend, first of all world he is my You're best right. friend <laughs> he's my best friend and we live 3,000 miles apart okay so uh, you know we are always writing always creating always being like should I do this uh, project like any uh, project I ask him <laughs> if I, I should do. do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure it, that is true. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, and he Which one, this one? asked me uh, for advice, which yeah, is like yeah, mind blowing to me because he's so much more. Well, I don't know, uh, professional, <laughs> uh, yes, beautiful than me, but no, he sends me uh, stuff, he writes, and I critique them, and we have a nice thing going. It's a pretty nice thing, yeah, I would agree. Awesome, awesome. Anything finally you want to say? No, just um, try and find Sociopathy right now. Um, you can get Amazon Prime, Tubi TV. Um, we had a little trouble with our distributor, so we're trying to get it back up um, online digitally wherever we can. But you can buy the DVDs, Amazon, Best Buy, etc. But buy Sociopathy, support yes. independent independent film, because uh, we need yes. it. Yes, <laughs> support independent film. And now we, uh -huh. we all group, group up. up. Group. Group.
<laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't <laughs> 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 <laughs>